Hello everybody and welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart and in this lesson we're taking a look at Social Studies Book 4, Lesson 10, Work and Income. In this unit you will discover what people do to make money and what free enterprise is. So let's get started. Our first word is occupation occupation. Occupation is just a job that a person has. So occupation is a fancy word for job. Okay. Next we have skill. Skill is the ability that is needed to do something. I'm sure that you have a certain skill. Maybe you're good at playing a piano. Skill means you are good at doing something. The ability that is needed to do something, yes, but also that you are good at something. If you're good at playing a piano, you have the skill to play piano. Maybe you have musical skills. If you play sports really well, you have athletic skills. Okay? If you study very well, you have good uh, memory skills or maybe good reading skills. Okay? So skill is the ability needed to do something. Next we have training. Training is when you learn skills or knowledge that you need to do to perform a job, to do a job, to uh, work at a job. Now training can be a lot of different types of training. You can train from a book, but many people consider training as actually doing the things or, the, or learning the skills that you need to do a job and sometimes people say on the job training, on the job training. On the job training means learning how to do a job while you're working, right? So when you start a new job, maybe an older person or a more experienced person will show you how to do that job. That's called on the job training. Free enterprise. Free enterprise is the idea, the concept that is very important to a capitalistic, open, democratic society. That means that you have the freedom to run a business to earn money. It's your choice. You have the freedom. If you want to make a company that makes pillows and you want to sell pillows to people, you have the freedom to do that. If you want to sell Drinks, lemonade, Gator, not Gatorade, don't do that, somebody's already doing it. Lemonade, uh, orangeade, or, uh, you know, uh, 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 jamang, jamang, grapefruit, grapefruit aid. Uh, you can do that. You know, whatever idea you have, you have the freedom to start your own business. That is free enterprise. Income. Income is the money that you earn from doing a job. Why get a job? Because you need to earn money to pay for your housing, your food, your clothes, your transportation. We need money in order to live in our society. So you want to get a job, hopefully a job that you like doing, that you are skilled at, and from that job you receive money. That money is called income. And income is usually regular amounts of money every month or every two weeks that you receive from doing a job. And many people will talk about their yearly income or their monthly income. Next we have service job. In our society there are many different types of jobs. There's manufacturing jobs where people make things. But there are also service jobs where people, they don't make things, but they provide services. They do things for other people. For example, this man here, he is delivering packages. Right? We don't have time to go to another country or another state or somewhere far away and get the thing that we want. No, we buy it maybe through the internet and then somebody will deliver it to us. That's a service that they provide for us. So that is a service job. Service job is a job that provides people with a service, such as a mail carrier, for example, this man here, or a delivery person. A bus driver. Bus drivers, they provide a service. They transport you from your home to your school. 
or a hairstylist. Do you cut your hair by yourself? Do you want your mom to cut your hair? Eh, it's better to go to a, a hairstylist who will cut your hair in a nice, fashionable way. That's a hairstylist. And these are all different types of service jobs. Okay, that's our vocabulary for this lesson. Now, the first main idea of this lesson is selling goods and selling services. Now, like I said before, some people, their job, they make things or they produce things. Other people might just uh, do useful services for other people. So we have a couple different examples of different things. We have on the top, we have selling goods. We have this person here, he's a potter. A potter is a person who makes pots. Very easy, right? But they don't just make pots, they might make other things. It looks like this man here is making a vase or a vase, different pronunciations, where you put flowers into it. But it's a work of art and it's very beautiful and people will pay money for these things. So he, the main idea of course, people do different kinds of work to earn money he does a special kind of work, he makes pots, so he's called a potter. Now a farmer will produce food. They put a lot of work into growing plants, making sure those plants are healthy, that there's no disease, the insects don't come and eat all the food. When it comes time that the food is ready to be picked, the farmers go out or they hire people also to gather all the food and then they send it to the stores where we can buy it and eat it. So that's a farmer. Those potter and a farmer are two types of jobs where people produce or sell things to other people. They have physical objects that they sell to other people. On the bottom, we have selling services. Now, one example of that, of course, we talked about is a hair stylist. Some people might call them barbers or hairdressers. Um, but a hairstylist means that someone takes time to, you know, cut the hair in a fashionable way. Of course, we like to, we like to be fashionable, right? We want to, we don't want a weird looking haircut, you know? We want people to be impressed with how we look. So we go to hairstylists and we spend lots of money to make our hair look just right, okay? Then that's what a hairstylist does. Makes us feel good, makes us feel happy about how we look. Now, another type of person who sells a service is a shop assistant. Now, when you go into a shopping uh, store or especially a department store, you are overwhelmed. So many different choices. What should I buy? Which is the best model? You know, how do I try this on if you're buying clothes? Well, shop assistants, they'll come to you and say, may I help you? And you tell them what you're looking, what you're looking for and they will give you advice about the best brand, the best style, and they will help you if you need to, uh, you know, where can I try this on? Okay, go over there and, and try it on. So they will assist you in your shopping uh, expedition. <laughs> when you go shopping, it's like an expedition sometimes. Okay, so we have a couple of sentences down here. Money it earned from doing work is called income. We talked about that. And a person's job is called an occupation. So all of these are occupations. Potter, farmer, hairstylist, shop assistant. Those are different types of occupations. And these people earn money. They earn income from doing their jobs. Okay. The next idea, we talked about this very briefly in the vocabulary section. The next idea is about free enterprise. Free enterprise, people can create new goods or services to earn money. If you have a good idea, uh, and it could be about, you know, like I said, manufacturing something, right? Making something. Or you have an idea about providing a service that not many other people are doing. You can make your own business to do that, to help other people or to provide goods to them. So some people have their own business ideas. They start and run their own businesses. They are their own bosses, right? So that's very interesting. If you have a good idea and you want to start your own business, then you can become a business owner and you are the boss. You're your own boss. But it's not always that great <laughs> because even though you're your own boss, the customer 
is telling you what they want. So actually the customer is the boss and you're working for a lot of different people to make them happy. But it can be very rewarding if you have a good idea and you like what you're doing. So if you have a good idea, think about that, right? Maybe you could start your own business, help other people do something, provide them a service, or make something new and useful that many people would like to buy. Okay, that's free enterprise. Now let's read the reading section. And as usual, I will read aloud. You guys repeat after me or just repeat in your mind. Focus on pronunciation and also the words that we studied in the vocabulary. Are you guys ready? Let's begin. In the United States, people have many different occupations. Each different occupation requires a different skill. It is important to get good training so you can be good at your occupation. If you are very good at something, you can start your own business. In the US, free enterprise means that anyone can start their own business. Having your own business is quite different from working for other people, but there are some similarities between the two. For example, whether you work for yourself or for others, you receive income. Income is used to pay bills and pay for things like food and services. There are many people who give different services to us. For instance, a hairstylist and a shop assistant are people who do service jobs. Okay, how is the information in this reading passage organized? Here we have main idea and details. So you have a main idea, it's kind of a general statement, and then you have more specific details or examples to support or to reinforce that main idea. What is the main idea in this passage? The main idea is, in the US, people have many different beep. Okay, so what did we talk about? It's a, remember in the vocabulary section, I said, it's a fancy word for job. Of course, we're talking about occupation. And because it's many different, we have to put plural. Occupations. So, People have many different occupations. And of course, we repeat that word here. Each occupation requires a different what? A different, uh, like I said before, you know, some people are good at sports. They're athletic. They have good athletic skills, right? They could be a professional athlete and get an income from playing sports and entertaining other people. So, requires a different skill. Now, even if you have skill, you still need to develop that skill. How do you develop that skill? Well, getting good beep is important to be good at your occupation. So you need to develop that skill. Uh, somebody can, who is more experienced can show you how to use that skill to perform better at your job. And of course, we call that training. So getting good training is important to be good at your occupation. And you can get training before you start the job or you can get training after you start the job that's called on-the-job training. Okay, next, beep means that anyone can start their own business. It's a concept, it's an idea that is very tightly connected to capitalism and democracy, a free society, and that's the first word. It's two words, right? Free, what's the second word? Enterprise, right, free, enterprise. Free enterprise means that anyone can start their own business. It's an idea, it's a concept, right? Uh, that, you know, you're free to do what you want to do in a democratic society. And in a capitalist society, you can earn money through your effort. So if you have a good idea, start your own business. Okay, so people who work for themselves or others can receive what? Now, whether you have your own business or whether you work for a larger company, you work for other people who have their own business, you receive money for 
the effort for the work that you do, and that money is called income. And income, we generally think of income as regular uh, payments, regular amounts of money that you receive every two weeks, every month, and so we call it monthly income or yearly income. And that's the money that you get from your job. Okay, well, of course, a lot of these things you don't have to worry about now. <laughs> when you get older and you graduate from college, then you will start looking around for a job. You'll look around for an occupation, for a career. A career is another word that means, you know, a career kind of spans your whole adult life. It's like, what different jobs did you do? What field did you work in? Or what will your career be? you might start your own business. Uh, of course, I, I hope that you live in a, a society that believes in free enterprise, so you could start your own business if you have a good idea. Or you could work, you know, you're just starting out, maybe you don't have a good idea or you need more training, you need to develop your skills, so you might work with a large company first or a small company, doesn't matter. However, you will earn income so that you can support yourself. And as you grow later, maybe you need to support your family as well. You need to have a job to receive that kind of income so that you can pay for the things you need to have a good, happy and healthy life. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, kind of a, uh, a look into the future for many of you, I'm sure. But in this lesson, we talked about occupations, different types of jobs, and we talked about free enterprise a little bit. So I hope you learned a lot from this, from this lesson and hope to see you in the next video lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.